what's going on everybody? I'm going to do a painting video here and this one is going to focus on scraping mainly like rocks and things but we're going to scrape everything in this one. Probably going to overdo it but for the purpose of just showing how I do it for, for rock scraping and things like that. Now you're going to want to have a variety of different cards. I find that these little loyalty cards they work really well. They, you got to have a good flat clean edge and that will help you with your scraping. If you have sort of a rough edge, it's not really going to work so well. So have like a variety of cards, a variety of sizes, um, so you can do a variety of different things. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off, we'll do, a, we'll do a sort of a mountain scene so that we can see what we're doing. Of course, I could do just doing little rock sections, but I think it'll be more helpful if it shows how it all comes together. So let's do our first coats of water on the paper. And we're just going to go all the way down, give the page a good soak. And we'll go in with our raw sienna and just do a quick basic sky just to get a little lubrication on the page here. Okay, and then we'll just do a basic sort of a blue sky, take a little ultramarine blue and a little Payne's gray. And we'll just get a little just get a little bit of a sky going here. You can do this flat if you don't want your paint running down. Let's get a nice sky going. We'll leave a little area open for our mountains in the background here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do some mountains. Take a little blue with a little Payne's gray again, same as the mountain colors, and we're going to come in and just do a little little just a, a sort of a basic mountain here. Now, we want this lighter because it's going to be in the back, but it has to be a little bit heavier for our scraping. Okay. A little bit of a hair there. So, once this is dry, you got to experiment with the timing of where you're going to scrape, because if you scrape, it'll fill back in. But you take your little loyalty card and basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the card and you've got to ex also experiment with how you're going to push down on the card and give a little more pressure to where you want the little peaks to go. Okay, so looking close up in here, just to show you the close up of the scraping of the rocks here. And you got to experiment on how hard you know, and how soft. Just a little bit of pressure. Now, after you do your peaks, after you do your little peaks, you can come back in with a little bit of the blue, maybe just a slightly darker blue, and just dab in a little bit for the darker side of the mountain. And just have the areas where the light's coming through. And then you can always come back. And you, could, you could drop in a little bit more as needed. And then again, come back in again and fill in the areas you don't like. Or just make it look a little that helps pop out the areas if you come in with a slightly darker color. So now we have our little basic area of mountains here. Okay, so then not cleaning the brush, I'm just going to come in with a little, little raw sienna and we'll just, just going to drop in a little forward, 
forward hills, a little raw sienna, a little ultramarine, and we'll just just a just a little hill coming down here and maybe one over here, just so we have some foreground. areas. And if you leave your brush to where it's kind of leaving some streaks, that's okay. It can look like the top of the mountains got a little bit of white showing on there, which is fine. And then we'll take, for the sake of showing the scraping again, we'll come back in with these and we'll give a little scrape to these. And same thing to this side. It'll look like rocks or snow or whatever. The close, once again, we'll go to the close up here, and you can see a little better the scraping of the rock and really how much paint is on there. And then once again, we're going to come back with a darker color. A little paint's gray, neutral tint, whatever you like and burn on burn. We're just gonna put in, try to get in like in between. We don't want these to be so super obvious. And then there you have your side areas there. Now that's probably a lot of scraping for one painting. Um, you know, you want it to be a little more subtle than that. But the next thing we're gonna do is let's put in some foreground areas here. So let's come in with some, let's first come in with some, just some raw sienna and what, whatever was on the brush. And we'll just, just gonna sort of rough dab in some raw sienna here. We'll leave this open, sort of a little, looks like a little water with a little shadowing coming down. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, let me, just kind of prop this up a little bit. This is always dangerous because I dropped my board as you saw in a previous video. So what we're going to do is, let's say we're going to go on to this side over here and we're going to, we know we're going to scrape some rocks in. So what we want to do is we want some burnt umber, little ultramarine blue. You want it to be kind of dark. So if you were going to do this area here, this is, let's just start with this. A little more ultramarine, a little bit of Payne's gray or neutral tint. So now you have a nice darkened area and you have a good amount of paint on there. Let's take a closer look at that. And then you've got to experiment with that drying time a little bit, but I usually do it when it's pretty wet. So you're going to take your card a little roundish, little roundish strokes with it. Now, if you do them too much in a line, it looks a little little weird. So you want to be careful not to make it look anything that's going to be sort of an eyesore catching the eye. And there is your rock scraping. Now, the part that's important is, is to come back with your brush and kind of dab in the bottom to make the top pop out and cover up that a little bit. And then after you do that even, you can still come back and you can put in some more rocks. You can even put in a little grass in and around, you know, so that it kind of makes that area look more natural. Okay, once again, looking at another close-up, turning the card a little bit so that we get a more roundish rock shape. You can do this as much as you want. Just practice with it, and with time you'll you'll get better and better at it. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so now let's kind of move on to the other side. Let's take a little more. I'm going to use a little more burn umber over here. Keep it a little lighter just to vary it up a little bit. 
and then we'll throw in a little just throw in a little bit of ultramarine okay and once again we're gonna go back to our card and now these you know you want to come back probably with a stroke going this way just to because it seems to be like a direction so of the rocks too to kind of guide the eye a little bit so you can put in some fairly big ones here don't worry about exact shapes because you can come back over it with your brush and then come back with come back over and just dab in a little underneath and if you go a little darker again it'll make those rocks pop You'll notice I might go a little bit larger with the uh, rocks, but when I come back with the brush, you can tighten them up a little bit. And you can even cut out some if there's too many. So when you come back in with the brush, as I'm doing here, you can see how I push them back a little bit. A little more Payne's Gray on there. And now once you start to cover them, they start to look like they're just hidden behind there. Put a little bit more grass. Okay, so now, because I just haven't scraped enough, <clears throat> let's do a tree in this scene, okay? We'll cover all the areas of the scraping. Now, I should say, learn how to paint rocks, normal painting. The scraping is like playing speed chess in the park. You know, it's, it's, it's fun, it's quick, it looks cool, but uh, at the end of the day, obviously, you know, you, you want to learn how to kind of paint things, too. But for this purpose, we're just going to do we're just going to do uh, the fast way. Let's put in some branches here. Now, obviously, we covered some things up, but that's okay. Okay, so now we put enough paint on this tree trunk that when we scrape it, let's get in nice and close here. When we scrape this, kind of come down at an angle, pushing. you got to experiment with how hard to do this. And just get something that looks fairly natural. And again, you can come back with your brush and just kind of dab in a little bit. And there you have your scraped in tree. Now, anything that you covered up on the bottom, you can add a few more rocks in. And again, scratching in some grasses. And then, just for the sake of finishing the picture, let's go ahead and put some. Uh, Take our rigger brush, throw our other brush in some water. Take our rigger brush and we'll do some quick finish off these branches. Give it that little wiggle. I won't spend too much time on the tree because that's not what we're really focused on. He's coming down. And then you can take a little bit of paint on your rigger brush and you can drop in some normal grass over the top of some of these and it'll just make it look a little more realistic. And that's really the basis for the uh, for the scraping. Now, if you want, you can put in some minimal branches up top or branches uh, leaves up top. Take and do a little, little raw sienna, whatever's on the brush, and just, just put a little bit of leaves on this tree so it doesn't look so barren.
darken that up a little bit. There's some shadowy colors. And maybe we'll take, just to get a little more color on there, we'll get some light red on the brush and just put a little bit of red in that tree, just, just for some added color. We'll come down here and add a little bit of that red just to, just to get some extra color into the piece. And another thing you can do is you can take a little bit of white gouache or white paint or a white uh, jelly roll type pen and you can come in and you can put, if you want to have sun kind of glinting a little bit on, on, a, on a tip of a rock, you can add uh, a little bit of white just to give it a little, little hint that it's a little bit brighter on the top of the rock. If you want that, you don't have to, but it, it, it makes a nice little... little highlight. You can take and do that too. Okay, and then we'll just take, just for fun, we'll put a couple little birds flying around here. And then I'll sign it when it dries. I'll come back with a, I'll come back with a uh, close-up. Okay, be right back. Okay, so here we have the finished painting. Let's zoom in on all that scraping work that we did. Try to get some good light going here. You'll see in the uh, mountain area where that scraping was done. Sometimes you gotta be careful, make sure your card is clean. You know, you'll leave little marks and things. If you scrape too hard, you'll see the lines. So it's something you gotta experiment with. Here's our stuff coming down here. And then let's go down into the corner here. You can see the rocks where we've scraped in. Same thing on this side. See how our colors give us just a little variety in there. And you can mix this up more, try to get more varieties of brown so it's not so dark. And then finally, here's our tree with our scraping. It looks like we've got some stuff going on with roots or trunks or whatever. And that's really about it. So I hope you uh, got something good out of this video. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.